Right, we're back for another review, this time for an updated radio. Um, you may well have seen my review of the Baofeng UV5X I did a while ago. It's been quite a popular radio and it certainly proved to be very popular with me when I've been out and about. I've uh, found that radio to be fantastic. Now, um, recently watching the, um, the television series um, Black Mirror on Netflix, I, know, I noticed that one of the... Uh, people in that was using a UV5X. I've made a little video about that. The link is in the description if you haven't seen it. And I just thought I would just look in to see what they've done with that radio. Now you can still get that radio, although it's it, you normally have to get it directly from China. Um, but what I did notice was that they've actually updated the radio. And here it is in its present form. It's the Baofeng BF UV B3 Plus. Uh, and I believe the plus stands for uh, uh, that it's got more power. Uh, it's supposed to have a, a, an output power of 8 watts, this radio. Now, there are a few little things which make me wonder before I put it on the power meter, but there's one thing that you might be able to spot straight away if you're familiar with this radio. As you can see on the back of the radio, that the, the actual battery pack there is thicker than the standard uh, UV5X um, battery pack. You can actually see there the little ridge and it's higher. I'll just bring in the UV5X for comparison. There you go, in the background. And you can see the smooth top of the UV5X there. And you can see the, they've got the writing on the side. So you know which radio you've got. And uh, this one has definitely got a bigger, thicker battery pack. Um, for the back, they look exactly the same. So one would assume that you can drop the uh, them in the same charger. Um, but... Um, yeah, I just thought this was interesting. I, I, I've not done an unboxing because you get you get basically what everything that you get with the UV5X is exactly the same. So if you want to see what's in the box with this radio, go and have a look at that video. Um, I'm interested to see how, how this is going to perform on the power meter. Now, my pa past experience with power levels from China is they fluctuate wildly. And... Um, the claims, the output power claims that, that you get from them are, are, uh, can be taken larger with a, a pinch of salt. So it'll be interesting to see how this one performs. Um, what we'll do is um, we'll, we'll take it out on the field and, uh, and test it up against some other areas. Maybe even the UV5X might be a good idea um, just to see how it performs next to the 5X as really it's, it's supposed to be a more powerful version of the radio. But we're going to stick it on the power meter now. And uh, I think that'll either prove or disprove whether it is or not. So let's have a let's have a little look and see. Right, we're here with the old radio. So this, this is the UV5X. Um, we're going to be running this on VHF. So this is you're looking at the lower scale, the five watt scale, just down there. So this is the old radio, the UV5X on VHF. There we go. So you can see we've got about four watts forward power. Okay, right, then let's just try this on uh, UHF. So we're up onto UHF now. Let's see how different it is, what the difference is. It's about 2 watts. There you go, 2 watts. And we'll just double check the calibration. So we'll pop the meter into calibration um, on UHF just to double check. We'll just adjust the calibration. Okay, and then we'll put it back to forward power. Just tweak that. Yeah, so it's just still just over two watts. So with the UV5X, we're four and two, four on VHF, two on UHF. So let's uh, see what the difference is with the new radio, if any. Right, <clears throat> we're back now with the new radio, the UV3, uh, and the supposedly eight watt radio. <laughs> let's just see what we get. So this is on the VHF setting. And we're, we're looking at the, the lower scale again, the 5 watt scale down at the bottom. So we're getting just about 5 watts there on VHF, so it's a little bit more powerful than the 5X, but it's certainly not 8 watts as advertised, so uh, uh, that's, uh, that's not really a surprise. Okay, let's try it on uh, onto UHF and just see what difference that makes. Okay. So it's just, just over two on UHF. So very similar results to the 5X. Um, I'm not anticipating in the real world the extra watt is going to make any difference whatsoever. 
However, we will um, take the radio out and do our usual field tests again alongside other radios just to see. Um, now, it is interesting though on this radio, um, get it into focus here. You'll see there is, there is, unlike the UV5X, there is this port on the side of the battery. Now, it may be that you can get the 8 watts by connecting an external supply to that. Uh, the UV5X doesn't have this uh, this connector, so it's interesting. I haven't got I haven't got a connector. I don't think I've got a connector I can plug in to try for now. But uh, perhaps on another day I'll, I will try that and uh, get hold of a plug and uh, we'll see if that makes any difference. But I, I suspect not. I suspect it's uh, it's just a battery eliminator and it's more for just if you've got the uh, the radio in the car or something. Okay, let's take these outside and um, and see how they fare. Just before we do that, uh, we better check and make sure that the uh, that they are interchangeable. Right, though, this is the uh, the the new radio and charging away in the standard base. Let's just swap that over and then just make sure the 5x pops in and charges as well. Yeah, so it's exactly the same uh, the same um, uh, battery in terms of charger and connections. Okay, we're here with the UV B3 Plus. Let's give this a go. This is G7 LNK portable at location A, three miles with the UV B3 Plus. This is G7 LNK portable at location A, three miles with the UV B3 Plus. All right, here we are with the UV82 at location A. This is G7 LNK portable at location A, approximately three miles with the UV82, with the Baofeng UV82. This is G7 LNK portable at location A, approximately three miles with the UV82, with the Baofeng UV82. Here we are with the UV5R Plus. This is G7 LNK portable with the UV5R Plus at location A, approximately three miles. This is G7 LNK portable with the UV5R Plus at location A, approximately three miles. Here we are with the UV5X. This is G7 LNK portable with the UV5X at location A, approximately three miles. LNK portable with the UV5X at location A, approximately three miles. With the UVB3 Plus, UVB3 Plus. This is G7 LNK portable with the Balfung UVB3 Plus at location B, approximately six miles. This is G7 LNK portable with the Balfung UVB3 Plus at location B, approximately six miles. Here we are with the Baofeng UV82 at location B. This is G7 LNK portable with the Baofeng UV82 at, at location B, approximately 6 miles. This is G7 LNK portable with the Baofeng UV82 at location B, approximately 6 miles. Here we are with the UV5R Plus. This is G7 LNK portable at location B, approximately six miles with the Baofeng UV5R Plus. This is G7 LNK portable at location B, approximately six miles with the Baofeng UV5R Plus. And here we are with the UV5X at location B, six miles. This is G7 LNK portable at location B with the Baofeng UV5X, with the Baofeng UV5X, approximately six miles. LNK portable at location B with the Baofeng UV5X with the Baofeng UV5X approximately six miles. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the review of the the new UV B3 Plus. I was a little bit disappointed, I'll be honest. Um, I was hoping this radio was going to be a true eight watt radio, and it's uh, turned out not to be the case. We've just had one extra watt out of this in, on VHF, uh, and. I don't know, I haven't tested, looked at the recordings yet to see what the rest of the footage is going to look like, but it is still a lovely radio. I don't think the UV5X is widely available anymore, uh, and it does have this extra feature with the jack, so we'll have to see if I get any more power out of that when I can get a plug to actually fit into that. So I'll, I'll do another video explaining 
that to see if it makes any difference. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you stayed here all the way to the end, it's been fun. I have a lot of fun making these videos. And um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Um, uh, you know, just click the little, and there's a little bell down the bottom, which will which will give you a notica notification every time I upload a new video. Apologies for the noise around here. We've got an, an airfield over the way. Really noisy road. It's just cars backwards and forwards, and when you sat in your car, you don't realise just how much noise you're making. Right, okay. If you haven't, please subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. And if you have been, thanks for watching.